Did you know that our African black mother is the foundation of all human beings on earth? The African woman is the mother that bore humanity. She was the first homo sapiens who lived in Ethiopia and she is dated to 3.2 million years old as confirmed in 1974 by outstanding archaeologists and anthropologists. The first human beings on earth were the black man and the black woman and their full evolution to homo sapiens sapiens was around 140,000 to 200,000 years ago. It was the black woman and the African albinos who were the first Europeans. When the Africans migrated to Europe, there were no Caucasians. That is, there were no white people that lived or existed in this place you call Europe. The Africans who permanently adapted to the environment were later affected by the ice as their melanin started dropping. The ice was an advantage for the African albinos compared to when they were in Africa. The albinos survived in the ice by applying various methods. These Africans who later became the ice people started living in caves with fire. They hunted down huge animals and used their skin as protection from cold. They ate raw meat as food. They had no science. They lacked reason. They were greedy. They were warlike and they had bitterness. And these things became part and parcel of them. They invaded themselves and could not live as one. In fact, up to when Rome invaded Britain in the year 55 BCE, the Romans believed that the English people are so stupid and they can't be made into good slaves. The Africans who never left the continent of Africa were the ones who created the first African civilization you see in Egypt, you see in Ethiopia, in Benin and in Sudan. The Dogons, the Dogon people in Mali have already started the science of astronomy by systematically studying the movement of the stars, the moons, the planets and the sun. Imhotep has already built the first pyramid around 2780 BCE. The fact is that the school and science of medicine and surgery have already started in Memphis, Egypt 3200 years before Hippocrates was born. And when these ice people came to learn from the Africans, they stole and plagiarized the African spirituality and civilization. They were startled by the science and arts in Egypt. It was even Africans known as the Grimadis who taught them how to bury their dead. They couldn't handle a normal and simple burial ceremony. They could not even read and write until the Africans called Moors came in the year 711 AD to teach them how to read and write. It is a shame that Africans are now looking like the uncivilized when we started the first civilization. If we must stand great again, then we must start knowing our yesterday.